Do you want to do my intro Mary, with me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Mary, I am back with a new video. I didn't do it. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Mary, Mary I am back, back with a new video. video. Double, don't worry, you're fine. This is my older sister. They know we who do. I am. I've been in a bunch of videos. Exactly. <laughs> if you don't know, then go and watch more of those videos because there's a couple. Yeah. So today we are bringing to you a makeover eyeshadow focused edition that has been wanting to learn how to do more of her eyeshadow looks and I'm here to teach her. What are you looking forward to learning? I just really want to like learn like a casual look for one and then maybe another, a statement look. Oh, casual look, statement look. I don't cool. know that much about eyeshadow. I know how to do like a basic spooky eye but I want to be able to like actually incorporate eyeshadow into my routine sometimes, mm -hmm. so. Not well, that we're going anywhere this year, but like when the world just in case. back up. <laughs> you know, to stunt on those Zoom meetings, listen, we don't need a reason. Yeah, we don't need that's a reason. true, that's true. So I think I'm gonna be showing her two looks today. One of them is more of like a neutral smoky eyeliner look that I've been wearing a lot lately. Typically, you can use eyeliner or eyeshadow for it, and that's something that she can do like on the go, something simple, something wearable for every day. And then we're gonna be showing her how to do like a full on eyeshadow look with more probably pinky tones and she can take that and apply that and use any other color that she wants for the future. Oh, cool. So we're gonna zoom you in close. We'll probably be go in literally oh, no. closer. So right now Hippa has a beautiful base on with just a bit of concealer and powder and then once we do the second more dramatic look, um, I'll end up finishing up her makeup with blush and bronzer and such and then we'll show you the final look. This is the eyeshadow palette that Hippa has. It's the birthday palette from NYX. These are the colors that are in it. She has some pink, some purple, some orange browns, and she has some nice light champagne shimmery colors. And then there's kind of this like emerald color over here which will be fun to play with as well. I want to make sure that I want to use her palette so that I can actually teach her what colors to use in her everyday. These are Hippa's eyeshadow brushes. She has these dual-ended brushes from Eco Tools. This is great if you're just a beginner in eyeshadow because this is kind of all you need. It has a fluffy end, it has a smudge end, one for eyeliner, and a shadow brush. I'm going to go in with this color first. It's kind of a lighter brown color and then this darker one as well. So for the first look, we're going to go in with a dark brown color and kind of smudge it across her lash line. So I'm just taking the smudge brush and kind of smudging this brown color. It's okay if it's not exactly close to the lash line, you want it to still show even with mascara. So now you can see that there's sort of like this brown liner when she opens her eyes, that's all you can see. I'm gonna go in with this darker brown color, it's more like a chocolate color with this angled eyeliner brush. And this one, you wanna get as close to the lash line as you can. It's okay if it's not exact. And I'm just kind of doing the outer half towards the middle. I'm not really going into the inner corner and just winking it out a slight bit. This is just gonna kind of help build more volume and more dimension, but on a subtle level. It's gonna kind of smoke out the lash line. So now we've built sort of the foundation and we're gonna go ahead and define it and smoke it out with a black eyeliner pencil. This pencil is from Bare Minerals, but you can use whatever black eyeliner or you can even use black eyeshadow if you want. And the same thing, I'm gonna use it to define the lower lash line. I'm gonna focus it on the outer edge as close to the lash line as you possibly can, not going further than the middle. You want to make sure that the line is dark enough where that it's a complete line, but you don't want to make it too thick. And you can wing it out just a slight bit. So now you can see her eyelashes look thicker and fuller because there is that black shadow. That's really the whole entire look. Super easy. You can use brown eyeshadow and black eyeshadow, or you can use a brown eyeliner pencil and black eyeliner. I really like it. I think it is um, like pretty like wearable for every day mm -hmm. and like you said I can um, interchange the colors too so, yeah yeah I love it good job yay I'm glad <laughs> when I close my eye to do it I get some on the bottom how do you like avoid that I don't know what I don't know see how you would get it on the bottom you're like I don't know how you're dumb <laughs> <laughs> no I know all right we're back for our second look this is just gonna be kind of like a standard eyeshadow look like I'm gonna teach you how to use a crease shade, your shadows, where you want your dark and your light colors to go, your matte versus your shimmery shades, how to use a transition shade. Hippa's like, I don't know any that of those words. So <laughs> There's a whole different vocab. vocabulary for me. 
Okay, so Hibbit decided that she wanted to do more of an orange look, so I'm definitely going to be using this darker brown color, of course this light peachy color, and then we'll probably use this shimmer champagne color, and I'll update you if we use any other colors as well. So we took the eye makeup off. I can zoom you in. Thanks for being such a good model today. I'm going to be using her fluffy eyeshadow brush with this bright orange peachy color. Now we're going to use this as our transition shade, and we're going to go in with a light hand and if you want to go with the light hand, just hold your brush on the end, and that way it'll deposit less product. So for our transition shade, we're going to put this right into her crease, just kind of all over her crease and towards the outer edge. It's okay if it's messy because it's going to help all the other colors blend. Transition shade is typically within the color scheme that you're working with, but definitely lighter than your crease color, and it helps your lid shade transition to your brow bone. Go in with the darker brown using that same brush as kind of a crease color. I'm going to focus this on the outer corner, definitely in the crease, and in the outer corner down to the lash line. This is how we're creating the shadow and the shape of her eye. So this is what the crease looks like. I'm just going to take a clean brush and just kind of blend out the edges so there's not harsh lines and make sure everything is just blended together. For her lids, I'm going to use this shimmery champagne color and this shader brush. I'm just going to pack it on there by tapping the brush into it. My favorite tip for making any shimmery shadow just shimmerier, I guess, and more pigmented is to spray it with some setting spray. Then we're going to pack this on the middle of her eye. Sweep it from the inner corner to the middle and keep it on the lid. We don't want it to go into the crease. So now you have the shades all blended. You can see the definition in her eye. and You can also see the shimmery shades. We've created a nice shadow in her crease but also brightened up the center of the face with the lid shade. We're going to take that same shimmery shade for her inner corner just to bright up the center of her eyes, make her eyes look more bright. You want to put it right at the inner tear ducts, but you want to have your eyes closed so that it doesn't go in your eyes. And then let's put some shadows on the lower lash line to help balance the whole look. I'm going to use that peachy tone on the smudger brush just for her lower lash line. So you want to look up for me and just to kind of smoke it out, just the outer half. I like putting the lighter colors on the bottom because you don't want your under eyes to be too dark, but it'll balance out the whole look. That is the finished eyeshadow look, and you can replicate this with any colors that you choose. We're just going to finish up the, the look with some mascara and maybe blush, and then we'll be back. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed learning about eyeshadow. What do you think, Kimba? Would you wear this? Yeah, I really like it. I learned a lot. I think just like the order of things and like which brushes to use for what. And yeah, now Boring. I know more than one eyeshadow look. So. Yay! I can't wait to see you pop it out every time I see you. I want to see blue next time. I want to see crazy colors. No, I'm kidding. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed me doing eyeshadow on my sister. And remember to subscribe. Subscribe, as she said, join the family, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also comment down below what other videos you'd like to see, maybe something you learned from this video. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!